Hawaii's success in keeping COVID-19 in check is not just about its geography. It's had some of the strictest restrictions, including a statewide mask mandate and until recently a 14-day quarantine rule for all arriving tourists. Violators have been arrested. But its restrictions have also crushed its economy. In October, Hawaii had the highest unemployment rate in the country at more than 14 percent. Now, the islands are implementing a new policy to try and revive tourism while keeping locals safe. It allows travelers who can prove they've gotten a negative COVID test within 72 hours of travel to forgo that 14-day quarantine period. Lieutenant Governor Joshua Green joins us now from the Aloha State. Dr. Green, thanks so much for being with us. So what is the balance you're trying to achieve between risks to the public from COVID and risk to your economy at this point in the pandemic? Well, the balance we're trying to achieve is keeping people alive and safe while also restoring those parts of life which are necessary, such as having a job, being able to pay one's rent, to pay for food, these are the challenges, and, and I come at it from a healthcare perspective. I'm an ER physician on the weekends uh, and lieutenant governor by the weekdays. So I see both perspectives. We've been lucky because we've been able to keep our counts relatively low and at the same time come up with some policies based on our isolation to begin to open up. Well, let's talk about the policy that you implemented on October 15th. You want to reopen to tourism. I understand that as far as the job losses in your state, they've been significant. How is the policy going a month and a half in? Uh, it's, it's exceeding expectations. It's actually working very well. We actually have fewer cases of COVID now, fewer people in the hospital now than we did before we started safe travels. But we were averaging 103 people in our hospital at that time. We're now down at 55 in our hospital. We had an average case count of 90 people positive in the state per day. Now we're down to 75. And our positivity rate was 2.8% when we started safe travels. It's now down at 1.8%. We're at 85% mask wearing in our state. Excellent numbers. We get to 95%, we won't even have to talk about travel restrictions. But when you're at 85% in your state, when you limit ex, uh, extensive travel with a pretest, you can actually keep your numbers really low. And have you seen jobs return? Um, are tourists coming back in mass? And is, is there a point at which um, you'd be concerned that too many people are coming again? We normally were getting 30,000 people a day uh, traveling to Hawaii. When we instituted the lockdown, the quarantine, we dropped 99.6%, so to functional zero, right? It's now crept back up to between 10 and 12,000 people coming back per day. And we immediately restored jobs. It was actually shocking. 29,000 out of our 125,000 jobs at least, at least returned. We're starting to think it might be closer to 50,000, which is a very big return quickly. We're watching very carefully with the extra travel that occurs around Thanksgiving, that occurs around Christmas time. And if we can keep that negative test in advance and do some additional testing periodically here, we think we can keep the lid on. But you have had some resistance uh, to the safe travel policy. I know that the mayor of Kauai, um, he did see a slight rise in cases and relative cases that were as connected to tourism. And, and they have now instituted, at least on Kauai, uh, that 14 day quarantine period again. Yes. And, you know, we respect all of our mayors. We have four counties and four mayors, of course, and their their policy recommendations don't fall on deaf ears. Uh, the reality of the numbers where they were still small, you have to remember, Hawaii has the lowest rate of COVID in the country, and then Kauai has the lowest rate of COVID in Hawaii, but they have somewhat limited healthcare resources. As an ER doctor, I can tell you that we are mindful about people ending up in the hospital. Kauai only had seven hospital admissions in seven weeks, so they're being ultra safe, ultra protective, but that's okay too. Lieutenant Governor of Hawaii, Dr. Josh Green, thank you so much for joining us. You bet. Best wishes for the holidays.